Hi, I'm Neil Ricketts. I'm the chief executive of an advanced materials company called Viserion PLC. When you're the CEO of a fast growth company, sometimes it's easy to lose track of what's happened. But if we look at the facts, you know, three years ago, this company was a pre-revenue business, hadn't generated any revenue. Now we're generating way past £5 million. And we've now progressed from being two people working in that garage up to 105 people working out of four sites in the UK. We operate in everything from extruded aluminium through to the very latest technologies in metal foams and graphene. We're extremely well funded now. We floated the business on the London Stock Exchange in June 2013. That enabled us to have a great shareholder list. It enabled us to be able to fund the business moving forward. So we're able to do acquisitions. In terms of what we've got within our group at the moment, uh, the graphene and, and the porous copper, uh, we're looking at market sizes in excess of six billion. Potential for graphene on its own outweighs anything that we've ever thought about before. It's a product that can be used in almost all walks of life, in almost all technologies. And what we're seeing now is that there's a real sense of excitement around being able to use that, as there was when silicon was developed. When we first started the company, we were very fortunate in that one of the first things that happened was we secured an Innovate UK uh, grant to develop some of our technology. If we hadn't got that grant, there is no way that we would have been able to have pursued that market or actually even made that uh, jump into being able to create these jobs. That really did take some of the risk out for some of our initial shareholders. It also created a huge amount of validation in that we had something very good. Viserion is a fast-growing business. We see that that will not stop and we see that that will continue. We're starting to explore the global markets now. We've got uh, opportunities in Korea, we have opportunities in the US, the other Far East nations. And so we would see that this business will continue to develop, it will continue to employ people in the UK, it will continue to develop technology with the support of the government agencies like Innovate UK to become a global player. Innovate UK has been absolutely inspirational and has really driven our business. I don't think we would be in the position we're in without the contacts and the connections and the help that we've received from Innovate UK.